Can God change your life in the next 30 minutes? I believe you're watching right now because God has something special for you. I'm Jonathan Burness, and I'm a Jewish rabbi who follows Jesus. For the next half hour, you're going to learn how the Jewish roots of your Christian faith can bless you today. When you begin to understand how Jewish Jesus and the New Testament really are, your Bible's going to come alive in a whole new way. With insightful teachings and anointed guests, you'll discover how the Old and the New Testaments are woven together, how Bible prophecy is coming to pass before our very eyes, and why you need to stand with Israel. It's all just ahead here on Jewish Voice. Shalom and welcome to Jewish Voice, where we help you to understand the Jewish roots of your Christian faith, Bible prophecy, and why you should stand with Israel. I'm Rabbi Jonathan Burness. Thanks for joining us. Well, this month we're celebrating a milestone event in history, the 70th anniversary of the modern state of Israel. This was a direct fulfillment of end-time prophecy and now, 70 years later, we're witnessing a miracle. I recently traveled to Virginia Beach to chat with my friend Gordon Robertson to talk about why Israel is so important and what he sees may be ahead. Also, I had a pastor from Germany who has started a movement that has led to marches all around the world to remember the Holocaust. We can never forget the Holocaust. Let's go to the 700 Club Studios now in Virginia Beach for my interview with Gordon Robertson. Gordon, thank you for taking time to meet with me and in your, in your, in your beautiful I'm, I'm, digs here. It's my pleasure. It's I, a I know pleasure just, to be with you. You just got back from India. You must be jet lagged. Yeah, I was in India at one of the largest churches in the world at, at this point. It's a mega church, 180,000 members in Hyderabad, India, and for a single congregation, that is a phenomenal number. Incredible. God is really working around the world. This is very definitely the end time harvest, what the Apostle Paul wrote about 2,000 years ago, the final end gathering of the Gentiles. You think this will be the greatest harvest in history? Absolutely, uh, and we're right in the middle of it. We need to wake up and realize this is it. <laughs> it's not going to get any better. Let's, you know, let's redouble our efforts to, to reap it uh, and realize, you know, that the, 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 there are not many prayers that Jesus asked us to pray. You know, we've got to remember the Lord's Prayer uh, wasn't his commandment. That came from a question from the disciples, teach us to pray. Uh, there was another one, pray that you, you're not pregnant <laughs> when you're forced to flee. But this is one, pray to the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. And a better translation is beg God to drive out laborers. Let us be compelled by love to go into the harvest field. Amen. Well, the, the, the harvest is ripe. Yes. The fields are ready. That, that's absolutely clear. Uh, Talk to me about, we're going we're gonna to shift to Israel. I want to focus on Israel uh, and the Jewish people and when you understand that harvest to come. Because there's, there is a great harvest that the Bible talks about for the Jewish people in Romans chapter 11, the blindness coming off of their eyes. Right, and that's what Paul's referring to, the, the final ingathering of the Gentiles happens at the same time there's a rise of harvest in the Jewish world. And I think we're seeing that today. Um, Israel is proof of God's existence that a nation born in a day in, in 1948, uh, a fulfillment of biblical prophecy uh, that people thought was absolutely impossible. As people are watching this. We've, we're about to enter into the 70th year this year of the restoration of the state of Israel a nation that was supposed to be wiped out in a matter of weeks by their Arab neighbors, but Israel continues to not only survive, but prosper. And thrive and be a light to the nations. Um, 70 years has me wondering. Uh, it is the time period that 
uh, Jeremiah prophesied would be the exile. And so here we are 70 years after the formation of, of Israel. 70 has a, a lot of connotations. My prayer is it means God's spirit is poured out on all of Israel. And that the prophecy of Joel, that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Can the children of the prophets be the prophets once again? Amen. From your mouth to God's ear, why, why is that important for Christians that are watching? Uh, Israel, great, restored. I see that, Bible prophecies fulfilled. But I'm a Christian. That's, that's great for the Jewish people. But what it, why should Christians care about Israel? If you don't understand Jewish tradition uh, and Jewish practice, I think your Christianity suffers as a result. Uh, you need to understand why the Torah prophesies of a savior. Uh, in and of itself, you have to understand what that means, the depth of that. Uh, and when you do, it just leads to a much richer experience. See, I, I grew up in a completely, I grew up in a Jewish home. So for me, Christianity had nothing to do with the Jewish people other than the fact that they blamed us for killing their God. I didn't, I didn't understand how that worked, but I knew that Jesus wasn't for me and that we had a different Bible. Mm -hmm. We had our, what Christians call the Old Testament, but they had a New Testament. And the only thing that I knew about it, two things. One, don't read it. It's not from, for you. And two, it's anti-Semitic. Mm. It, it actually has negative attitudes uh, towards the Jewish people that have caused a 2,000 year uh, history of persecution. When people are blinded to the truth, uh, that we're grafted in to a Jewish root, uh, when you're blinded to that, you don't honor it. Uh, and and it, it's just amazing to me that Christians who certainly know the commandments, thou shalt not kill, would rise up and kill in a false claim that they're honoring God and doing that. Uh, I find that abhorrent, but I understand it on a spiritual level that they, they have been blinded. To my Jewish friends, I say, you need to keep in mind Christianity is a Jewish religion. And all the books in the New Testament were written by Jews. Uh, and my boss happens to be a Jewish carpenter. <laughs> Th those it, kinds of things are shocking to Jewish people. Yeah, they, they have no idea. They've never that. heard that. The entire New Testament, every single writer is, is Jewish. To my Christian friends, I say the longer I'm a Christian, the more Jewish I become. That if you really you know, are, are following through on this, uh, what, what we're trying to be is a one new man, and that means the two coming together. Oh, I love what you're saying. I, it, this, this really brings a whole new life and dimension for Christians, doesn't it, when they, when they understand this? Well, I, it's, it, it, the amazing thing to me, it's been hidden. And, um, you know, to, to discover the, the wealth of riches within the, the Torah commentary of, of the rabbis, the wealth of riches within the traditions, the prayers, uh, the, the observance of Shabbat, uh, these things are something to be enjoyed. Uh, they're not something to be avoided. It's, it's to be enjoyed and, and realize that it leads to life uh, and it leads to a whole new appreciation of how God has worked through the centuries. Thank you. If we have to take a break, we'll be back with our special guest, Gordon Robertson, after this important message. It's being called the land of modern miracles, miracles that can affect your life. 
Join CBN's Gordon Robertson for a look at how Israel is leading the world in innovation with his fascinating DVD, Made in Israel. Learn about the life-saving Israeli medical discoveries to treat cancer, blindness, and diabetes. See how Israel is creating innovative technology and agriculture that are changing the world. Then, let Rabbi Jonathan Burnus show you why God is blessing Israel and how the blessings of Israel can be yours with his new book, Unlocking the Prophetic Mysteries of Israel. This book will show you why Israel is so important to the last days, why praying for Jerusalem will bless you, and the 10 surprising signs of the coming messianic age of peace and prosperity. Then take a breathtaking DVD journey through Israel with A Rabbi Looks at Israel. This DVD features an in-depth Bible teaching from Rabbi Bernus that reveals the startling location of last day's events. You'll not only see where Yeshua walked, you'll see where He will walk again when He returns to Jerusalem. We will sow these three important resources into your life for your one-time gift of $40 or more. Or you can become a new monthly partner for $30 a month or more and we'll add this gorgeous Lion of Judah wall tapestry that features a stunning lion's face, a Star of David, and scripture. Display this in your home or office. We'll also add this exclusive JVMI mug to remind you to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. It's dishwasher and microwave safe and durable for daily use. When you become a new monthly partner for $30 a month or more, you bring the gospel and vital medical care to one person each month. That's 12 people each year. Jewish people, from Holocaust survivors to scattered Jewish tribes around the world, are helped by your generosity. The need is urgent, so please call now and specify offer 4150 to receive all of these gifts with your new monthly partnership of $30 or more. Specify offer 2016 when giving a one-time gift of $40 or more. You can also go to our website, jewishvoice.tv, with your gift of support, or send it to us at Jewish Voice, Post Office Box 6, Phoenix, Arizona, 85001. Welcome back to a special edition of our program. Coming up, there's more of my interview with my good friend, the CEO of Christian Broadcasting Network, Gordon Robertson. You'll also hear a miraculous story of a movement that now stands with Jews to remember the Holocaust, lest we never forget. I'm going to take you back now to CBN Studios for more of my interview with Gordon Robertson. You're seeing great revival in the nations. You know, Gordon, I, I think something that's overlooked is an end time event, hmm. is what Jesus said, that the gospel of the kingdom will be proclaimed in every nation, and then the end will come. So when we talk about the last days, the end of days, how can you miss the focus on Jesus himself saying the gospel has to go to every nation? Is well, that you, happening? You're talking about the verse that is on the front door of this building, the CBN and headquarters. And it should be. It's in brass, and it... Uh, uh, I added it to the rear door so that, you know, you couldn't just sort of sneak into the building and miss the message. Uh, this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in all the world as a witness. And that's our guiding scripture. That's what we're about at CBN. We want to see every tribe, every nation, every tongue hear the good news. We were talking together earlier about not setting dates. You can't set dates. Uh, we're warned not to do that, but we are exhorted to know the seasons and to be wise and, and the language that I don't want you to be ignorant of this mystery. No. You believe we're in the last days, very uh, I believe, and I believe that has, has been the, the time clock started in 1948. Um, and Jesus was very specific that when you see leaf on the fig tree, uh, you know the season. And uh, start looking for it and look to, to the heavens because your redemption draws nigh. So here we are, almost 70 years since uh, that fig tree was once again planted in the soil that it occupied 2,000 years ago. Once again, it's there. And then in 1967, 50 years ago, what was thought impossible, Jerusalem became unified under Israeli control. Jerusalem no longer trodden under the foot of the Gentiles. Uh, that is a, a moment of prophetic significance 
that absolutely signals we are in the end of days. So clear. What are the things that you see on the horizon? What are you looking for? What events? I, I'm, I have an, I'm pretty narrow. I'm trying to reach my Jewish brethren with the gospel. You have a, a, a wider view, I think, of what's going on in the world. What are you looking for? Uh, I'm, I'm looking right now for the children of Ishmael uh, to come to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. And there have been wonderful revelations, dreams and visions uh, to the Arab people, the Persian people, the, the ancient peoples of the Bible. And um, I, I absolutely rejoice at what's happening throughout the Middle East, North Africa, uh, in Muslim nations. And so they're looking for answers and Jesus is appearing and they're having meetings with power and the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. So, yay God. That's remarkable. <laughs> that, is one, um, that is God's peace plan, know, isn't it? Yay God. Yeah. So I'm looking for that. The, the next thing I'm looking for is the literal fulfillment of the prophecy of Joel that afterwards I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and your daughters will prophesy. Now, uh, I'm well aware Peter said this is that which was spoken by Joel at Pentecost. So the fulfillment uh, was 2,000 years ago uh, on the day of Pentecost. And all Christians everywhere enjoy the benefit of the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Um, but prophecy can be fulfilled in stages. And the stage I'm looking for now, because he's very specific, your sons and your daughters will prophesy. He is speaking to the Jewish people. And the entire passage is about Israel and a spiritual restoration of yeah. Israel. So the prophets, they, the common term uh, used for the Jewish people within the Jewish community is we are the children of the prophets. So the sons and daughters of the prophets prophesying again. Final thought, Christians that are watching, some, some of them are just coming into a love for Israel. What should Christians be doing to bring about or to do their part for the salvation of Israel? Um, I think the best thing you can do is pray for Israel. Uh, pray for the peace of Jerusalem and pray for the Holy Spirit to be poured out on Israel. The second thing is we are supposed to, as Gentile believers, we are supposed to provoke Israel to jealousy. Uh, and I would submit that we haven't been doing a good job of that. And so how in our conduct, in our righteous behavior, uh, we need to have righteousness uh, as our watchword. Jesus warns us, unless you have the righteousness of the Pharisee, you don't enter, enter into the kingdom. So we need his righteousness in our daily activity, our daily walk, and let's provoke him to jealousy. Yes, yeah. amen. Gordon, it has been a pleasure chatting with you here on your turf at CBN. We've got to have you back in Phoenix. We need I to talk more. To I, I love yeah. being with you. So Gordon will be with us in Phoenix very soon. I'm holding you to that. All right. When we return, you'll hear a powerful interview about an event that honors the Holocaust and takes place in more than 80 cities around the world. It's being called the land of modern miracles, miracles that can affect your life. Join CBN's Gordon Robertson for a look at how Israel is leading the world in innovation with his fascinating DVD, Made in Israel. Learn about the life-saving Israeli medical discoveries to treat cancer, blindness, and diabetes. See how Israel is creating innovative technology and agriculture that are changing the world. Then let Rabbi Jonathan Burnish show you why God is blessing Israel and how the blessings of Israel can be yours with his new book, Unlocking the Prophetic Mysteries of Israel. This book will show you why Israel is so important to the last days, why praying for Jerusalem will bless you, and the 10 surprising signs of the coming messianic age of peace and prosperity. 
Then take a breathtaking DVD journey through Israel with A Rabbi Looks at Israel. This DVD features an in-depth Bible teaching from Rabbi Bernus that reveals the startling location of last day's events. You'll not only see where Yeshua walked, you'll see where He will walk again when He returns to Jerusalem. We will sow these three important resources into your life for your one-time gift of $40 or more. Or you can become a new monthly partner for $30 a month or more, and we'll add this gorgeous Lion of Judah wall tapestry that features a stunning lion's face, a Star of David, and scripture. Display this in your home or office. We'll also add this exclusive JVMI mug to remind you to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. It's dishwasher and microwave safe and durable for daily use. When you become a new monthly partner for $30 a month or more, you bring the gospel and vital medical care to one person each month. That's 12 people each year. Jewish people, from Holocaust survivors to scattered Jewish tribes around the world, are helped by your generosity. The need is urgent, so please call now and specify offer 4150 to receive all of these gifts with your new monthly partnership of $30 or more. Specify offer 2016 when giving a one-time gift of $40 or more. You can also go to our website, jewishvoice.tv, with your gift of support, or send it to us at Jewish Voice, Post Office Box 6, Phoenix, Arizona, 85001. Welcome back to a special edition of our program. Coming up, pastor from Germany who has started a movement that has led to marches all around the world to remember the Holocaust. We can never forget the Holocaust. And Pastor Yopes, thank you for being with us today and coming all the way from Germany just to share this with us. It, it's a pleasure and, a, and an honor to have you. We'll be the same. Thank you very much. I'm very grateful to be here. So the Lord told you to go out to the streets and actually to make a public statement Christians and Holocaust survivors arm in arm. Absolutely. Absolutely. This was what our fathers and grandfathers never did. They remained silent. It is easy to love and to bless Israel. But God spoke to us. He said, call for a movement on the street who will make a public statement for Israel. So this is the foundation of the March of Life movement. We remember the Holocaust, we speak up for reconciliation, and we stand side by side with Israel to make a statement against anti-Semitism. That birthed an entire movement. It grew from 300 people, and by now we have reached 20 different nations. We have been able to mobilize tens of thousands and have reached millions. We have been to 400 cities with the March of Life movement. Incredible. So something, something unexpected happened with that first march. What happened? Before we set out on our first March of Life, we received a phone call from Rose Price, a Holocaust survivor. She said, I'm going to bring 30 descendants of Holocaust survivors. And we replied, that is such an honor for us, because we are the descendants of Nazi perpetrators. Our fathers and grandfathers were guilty of the Holocaust. So this is how we came together. And when they entered our very first event that we had on that March of Life, we, as the descendants of the perpetrators, washed their feet, repenting and asking forgiveness. What happened was healing and reconciliation, and hearts started opening up. So we saw there is a special grace when we are together like this, and when we start speaking the truth about our own past. This is something that opens hearts, and this can also bring healing. What is the message that every Christian watching right now needs to hear in connection with what God's called you to. Everybody needs to hear this message, that we have to speak the truth about the past and that everybody needs to take a stand against anti-Semitism and to stand side by side in friendship with Israel. Because unless we do that, we will not see the blessing of God and churches will not be able to grow and we will not see the Lord blessing our nations. And we're gonna be there too. This is gonna be amazing, thousands of Christians walking through the streets yeah. of Jerusalem in solidarity with the people of Israel. Am Yisrael Chai. Amen. Again, go to our website and we'll give you the link to find out more about this incredible event. Pastor Yopes, thank you for all <laughs> you do. You. Come back again thank and visit you. us. Thank you. Wonderful.
I want to thank you for joining us for this special edition of Jewish Voice, and thanks to my guests, Gordon Robertson and Yopes Bittner. I want to remind you that this week marks Passover, or as we say in Hebrew, Pesach. Now, this biblical spring feast is the perfect opportunity to gather your friends and family and honor the sacrifice of Yeshua, the Lamb of God, who took away the sins of the world. If you have questions or prayer needs, remember, we're here for you. Just log on to our website. It's jewishvoice.tv. Again, jewishvoice, one word, dot TV. Just know that God loves you, and so do we. And as we close our program, I want to remind you, Psalm 122.6 says, Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May they prosper who love thee. Speaking of Israel, we are going to Israel. We're going to be there to celebrate the very day that Israel was declared as a nation. Now, I know the U.S. Embassy is being moved to Jerusalem. There's more safety measures in place than ever before in the Holy Land. So I want you to join us. Take a look. Don't miss the Jewish Voice Ministries Celebrate Israel 2018 Tour of the Holy Land. Join Jonathan Burnus as he celebrates the 70th anniversary of Israel's statehood. You'll follow the footsteps of Yeshua, Jesus, and actually walk where the Messiah walked. You'll explore amazing biblical sites, including Jerusalem, the Dead Sea, Mount of Olives, and Garden Tomb. You'll visit fascinating archaeological sites, the Holocaust Museum, and even the tunnels under the Temple Mount. You'll get insightful on-the-spot teaching from Rabbi Jonathan Burnus that will deepen your biblical understanding. You can even renew your marriage vows on the Sea of Galilee or be baptized at the Jordan River. Don't miss the 2018 Jewish Voice Ministries Celebrate Israel 2018 Tour of the Holy Land. For more information, log on to our website, jewishvoice.tv forward slash Israel. That's jewishvoice.tv forward slash Israel today. For more information, you can log on to our website. It's jewishvoice.tv and then forward slash Israel for more information. Or you can call the number on your screen. I sure hope you'll come. It is the opportunity of a lifetime and your life will never be the same again. Well, we're out of time. Until next time, I'm Rabbi Jonathan Bernis saying shalom and God bless you. Remember this one? How about this one? Yeah, seeing the upper room was amazing. Yeah, well, it really was. Hey, hi everybody. Hey, this is my daughter, Liel, and we're just looking at pictures from last year's Israel tour. And we're doing it on the new JVMI mobile app. This is an app that's filled with important news about Israel. It's so easy to personalize the content so that you actually get what you're interested in. All you have to do is click Personalize Now, and then you check off what you want to read about. It's that simple. You can follow along as we bring the gospel to Jewish people in remote places. You can see how Bible prophecy is coming to pass now. You can even watch our TV program. And you can see all the cool places my dad takes you when you go on the Israel tour with Jewish Voice. These are amazing memories, aren't they? Mm -hmm. What did you like the most about the Israel trip last time? I liked when we dipped our toe into the Dead Sea. Yeah. It's an incredible experience. She's been going since she was an infant. And with this app, you can bring Israel right into the palm of your hand. My JVMI works on your iPhone, your Android, or your tablet. Here's the best part. It's free and you can download it right now. Liel, tell them how. Just go to your app store and download MyJVMI. Again, that's MyJVMI.